Welcome to Kettle River, everybody. This is Kettle River Provincial Campground. I'm gonna start off the tour at the bridge. People like to jump off the bridge and land into the Kettle River below. We're gonna show you our favorite campground, our favorite campsites at the campground. Some of the bonuses of coming out to Kettle River Provincial Park um, on the Kettle River near Rock Creek. Rock Creek is just down the way. You can say this is part of it. So I am Marcel with Ernie Racing. Let's check it out, guys. So I guess this is the first warning. There is noisy kids at the campground water edge. I don't see too many hot single ladies out there, guys. Just a lot of screams and families. Okay, we're gonna head towards the campground, go back over the bridge here. As you can see, there's a few beaches. You can find your private spots along the beach as well, guys. Get away from the crazy kids. And uh, you can see the floaters are coming down and they get off of the bridge. The kids are yelling, it's not fair. I want a hoverboard. Whoa. Oh, down here. Go down here. And this is the quickest way to connect into the park, guys. Whoa, it's hard to film and do this at the same time. So anyways, let's go check out the, the campsites tour of the campground. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello. Well, we're doing a tour of the park, so I'm going to start showing. What are your favorite spots, Mom? Like this one in the corner up here on the right is always a nice one, huh? From the history. Remember, this actually used to be a campsite, a campsite until they like you know made it their home quarters for the, the the park people. But six is a nice spot. I always like the number six. It was just too, um, too much out in the in cars and the kids and everything else. So. You want too much access now? Well, like back in the day, keep in mind, guys. I was coming here when I was like three, four, five, six. You know, up into like 13, 14 years old, and. The place wasn't as busy, but these were always like the prime spots. I always liked being right next to the river. Yeah, these are some nice spots right here. You got a little bit of shade action. A little bit of shade. This is site 11. 11 looks pretty decent, guys. So yeah, we used to enjoy that. And then you could have your buddies over at 12. I think 12 is a dual site. It's a site 12. Yeah, with the combi camp and Fran and Julian. This, one, the, this was all just Yeah, 13 guys, so you're 12, 13. And then here's an access right to the river. Yeah, and this is the new area, which is 86 to 114 and reserved 54 to 85. We'll talk about that later. But this is the original campsite now. So site 11, I would also like 14. That's a nice spot. Yeah, even 15, 15 is kind of nice. I like 15 as well. So as we go down the path here, I mean, there are a lot of nice spots, huh? 16, that's a nice spot too. This is the original campground, Kettle River, all the original sites. They got shade in here, guys, for the summertime. Yeah, when you dropped me off at the convenience yeah, store. We were in one of the spots just down, down here. We used to be able to see the river years ago. Yeah, before the foliage and stuff. Yeah, so now there's a loop, guys, a couple, a couple bathrooms. Keep right, fire closure, no fires permitted now. Now you're, yeah, now we're not smart enough to make fires and fire pits at campgrounds. Nope. Humans just got to follow the World Economic Forum and fire programs. And, and, and yeah, here's a decent site. You know, but the bugs might get you in the fall, right? Or the spring. 21, that's, that's site 21. 20. There are all these ones are shaded, you know? They're all like the original town. We got site number 23, guys, you know? Guys, hard time getting solar on that one. I'll put it on the wide angle, wide angle. 24, a long skinny site. 25. We got 26 and 27. 
This guy's really in the shade. 28's really in the shade. Another path access. A middle access to get to the other areas. This is where they used to have the firewood. Remember, Mom? Free firewood, big pile right here. Yeah, no no more free firewood anymore, guys. Now you, you got to pay your taxes, and then you got to pay your more taxes on taxes, on taxes, and then fuel taxes, and then you got to buy your firewood now. Anyways, keep going through the park. Oh, they got a big rig in that one. 31. The road's pretty rough on the one wheel. They have no repavement here. Yeah, a lot of these sites have back trails, like the ones that you can connect if you're on the riverside, the riverside, like trails that go to the old path that they don't maintain anymore. Nobody's gotten the chainsaw out. No, we don't maintain paths. We don't build paths. No, so they don't want to make the park good. They just want your money. They just want your money. Yeah, so that'll be a path to connect to the old path that's fallen apart since the flood. Yeah, yeah. We got site 40. We got site 41. 42. 43. If you want shade, right? Lots of shade in here. Yeah, the flies, yeah. More washrooms right here. The water. Used to be firewood here for free not years ago, decades ago. This one's got some sun. But then you're stuck, like you can't even wander off the site, right? There's no, it's so much foliage. So much foliage. Foliage. Foil. Foliage, what? What did I say? <laughs> oh man, oh man. So yeah, well guys, check it out, Kettle River. Oh, I remember this site, this was a little more open. I got a little more space there. Oh, this one too, 51. 51 and 52 are a little more full of big, big sites. And then that's the, the circle. Now you're gonna go back up to the new area, right? I guess we should finish the video and show the new area now. Let's go cruise the new area. Okay, so we're back up to the first come first serve sites, 86 to 114. They got like a little BMX mini track. Um, water here, some recycling and washrooms. Let's go check it out. A little bit of pavement to start, and then it's gonna turn into dirt. A little, so, you have to pay $12 to park inside the park, guys. Every vehicle is $12. Every site, every camper on every site is $30. So even if my mom has a site that she reserved, she pays $30. I bring my RV, I have to pay $30. Tina has to pay $12 to park her car out, and my brother has to pay $12. So $30, $60, $70, $80, $84. They pay a pull in a night on that site. Oh yeah, anyways, here we go. Back to the sights, guys. One way, cruises around this way. Yeah, so you got your, what site is this? 55, 55. And we got 56. So it's more open here since the forest fire. Of course, these trees actually survived. What do you think about this 58? 58. Yeah, so these ones are in the middle of kind of the, the wilderness, you know, the road goes around the back, just like the map. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, the reserve game, right? Yeah, I did a story on this before. It should be always 50% of every park should be first come, first serve. There we go, first come, first serve, 88 to 114. Yeah. Yeah, we played, the, we waited at, you know, you wait at like 
hey, are you guys leaving? You ask them, and then you put your. Can I put my chair on your place when you're so I, I can reserve it with my no, chair? Yeah, the reservation the system. Were saying, oh, they can't camp at their own campground. They can't camp at their own, and, and the way or. And now that's happening in here. Yeah. Oregon really pays extra for their parks, especially the Mormon Coast. They pay a lot. Well, yeah, they don't have income tax, but they pay a lot of tax otherwise. Or no, no, they have low. I don't know. Anyway, that was. No, they pay high income tax, so they don't. This is 92 and 93 combined. So it's, I actually parked here once and then I changed spots later because you know, it's pretty much you become your neighbors, right? So it's all about your neighbors. Come you come together. So hopefully it's a good site. <laughs> you come together. So yeah, hopefully it's a, it's a good time, good time. Let me switch direct. Oh, I'm falling off the one wheel. So here we have 95 guys. So you can see the burn going on in the background and then uh, the river's just over there, a little gap. We gotta play some catch up here, it's 99. And then this one is I guess 100 and something, 101. And you get access to the oh, 102, double site, 103. And now we go to the water top where people like to like take their floaties. What's that floaty zone called, Mom? What's the float zone called? Myrtle's Landing. That's not the official name, is it though? No, that's your made up one. So we've camped where? Right here, Mom? No. We, we've camped at, which site was that? 103 maybe? That's a decent spot. It's in the sun though. You know, summertime. Look at this. There's, there's no shade over here at all. It's hot. Hot. Yeah, there's not much shade. There's tons of shade in the other areas for the summer, right? Nice little airstream. And uh, 109, guys. That's 109. We got a Bigfoot in uh, 111. There's your 1111. And then, of course, we got the inside. I'm just not showing, but uh, 111, and then here's your 113. And I'm trying to you again, it's right in the sun, pretty good sun exposure. That's what you think. It's cold out. Yeah, so, anyways, this is the first come first surf sections, and now we're into the reserve section again, I think. And. Uh, yeah, these are more reserve sites. That's right. They got the reserve slogan at the bottom. Reserve number 70. Oh. We might have a cobalt mine car behind us coming up on us. Blood cobalt chasing us down. Or we're on blood cobalt machines as well, actually, guys. But just minor, minor batteries, small batteries. And then here we are. 75, guys. We picked 75. And uh, big site, you know, no, you got no shade here, huh, Mom? Just the canopy. Yeah, so she, my mom makes her little setup over here. There's no shade on the site, it's all solar. You're gonna get your solar in. Well, there's shade, but over here. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, shade. Okay, guys, that, that ends the tour. I'm a little wobbly. This psilocybin is kicking in good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. This is Marcel at Kettle River. August uh, like 12th, 13th, doesn't matter. 2022, peace.